Hello everyone, good morning. It's another beautiful day here in Southern California. The road's on fire, but we're all gonna make it out okay. Back again with another video related to the AKG K340s. This is the third mod video that I've done now. And this is probably gonna be the shortest. Mostly because the mods that I'm gonna be showing off, one of them has already been done, but it's just a different type. You'll notice that these pads are a lot different than the ones that I had before. And also because this mod is gonna take the least amount of time to do. So let's start off with the pads first. These are velour pads. I mentioned in the first mod video that the sheepskin leather pads that I had on these weren't the most comfortable. So after I worn them for a little bit, I got these velour pads off of eBay, relatively cheap. And these are much, much better, significantly better, just because the seal on these is, it, it closes a lot easier onto your head just because the thickness of the pads aren't as massive these are more regular size closer to the stock pads but just with an extra little bit of plushness because my ears don't press against the inner baffle piece and i find that the comfort mixed with the proper seal makes the velour pads uh, a lot better to wear in the long run but the main thing i wanted to talk about was something that actually changed the sound of the headphones in a way that i feel makes it a lot better and that is, I have to open this, so let me take that off. We've got the cap off now, and taking a look, you'll notice that the cup is now sealed using electrical tape. And what that does on the sound, the way that it affects it, is it gives you a much better bass response. The issue that I was having with these headphones before is that the bass just wasn't strong enough for my personal preference. And I think for most people, they'll listen to it and they'll notice it's just lacking in the sound. You can hear it a lot in hip hop music and electronic music, but sealing the cups makes it so that the bass response is much more pronounced and you'll be able to hear it a lot better. The only issue that I have with this mod is that it really accentuates just how rough the highs are. If you ever looked at a chart related to these headphones, the highs typically tend to be very, very sharp. It has a really weird response, the electric driver, and I'm not sure why that's the case. You would expect an electrostatic device to have relatively good highs, but on these, they're relatively sharp, and sealing the cuffs makes that sharpness more pronounced. I was listening to a lot of music, and I just noticed that every time there is a really high vocal piece, it really it was just like it was like stabbing my ear. I didn't like it too much, but I I felt that the trade-off from improved bass versus sharp highs, I prefer this way more than if this was not sealed. This has an actual effect on the sound, and I recommend that you do it because it's it's a very simple model. You just tape up the inside. You could do it either way. You could tape it on this side. I did it on the inside of the cups, but it's all up to your personal preference. But that's all I had to talk about. This is a really, really simple mod, and this is why this video is going to be a lot shorter compared to the other ones. The next mod we do, though, is going to be a lot longer. It's going to be the one that takes the longest for me to do, because that's one that's a lot more complicated, and I think it's going to be a lot more fun to try and experiment with these cups with. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all take care today. See you later.